Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. So here we are in the lobby and I see we have something here done. So I'm going to go ahead and say thanks to everyone else for getting this done because I don't feel like I did a lot. But I want to go ahead and see what this is going to do. Oh, I clicked it. Oh, there it goes. Uh, oh, and there it is, <laughs> it's final form. Oh, now it's all going to the top now. Anti-gravity blood. Okay, luckily it didn't explode on me. I kind of want to take a step back. But there we go, congratulations everyone. Should there be a trophy over here now? Oh, and there it is. I don't know if this was over here until... <laughs> I hit spacebar, now I'm going to single player. There. I, I don't know if this was here before. I, I don't think it was, but there. I can't zoom in anymore, but there's the blood moon. It doesn't even say 24, or does it? No, it just says blood moon. <laughs> All right. Well, there's another trophy for that shelf, and mine looks pretty complete. We got three, two, and then just one down there. Well, all right, here's to another Halloween. But this event is not over yet. God, that thing is really loud. So I'm going into Willow, and then we're going to be going to Grafton, and then again, Point Hope for the finale. But there's only two days left, so I'm going to have to get these done before the event goes away. But today, we're going into Willow, and we're going to well, just get some more points and just... Even though the event's done, just continue having it, have, having fun with it until it's gone. Alright, it's Russell Gaten. We know the breaker's down in the basement. Prevent, cleanse, and then firelight. Alright. I'm gonna try and have a normal professional game, but let's leave the... Oh, well, I forgot I had the night vision. See, I keep thinking I'm going in with the light, or the headlamp. So I guess I'll walk around with this. But I do want to get the breaker on. But again, the main priority is going to be those Blood Moon Totems. Well, at least this is some experience with me learning how to use the night vision. Okay, good hiding spots. Mirror. Alright, look, I'm going to go ahead and figure out where this ghost is. Oh, it's in the basement. Why have we been getting so many basement ghosts lately? Well, of course the breaker's down there, so maybe I should get that on first. I don't really care too much about a perfect game. I do want to... Just do the Blood Moon stuff and focus on Blood Moon points. There we go. And it's kind of easier to see these things without the goggles. But then I gotta walk around without a flashlight. Well, I think I've gone ahead and checked every room. I guess I'll be running to the garage for a hiding spot. If the ghost truly is gonna be down here. Now, I'm gonna turn this on just to see where I'm going. I have a weird feeling we're gonna get ghost evented. Here! Come on! How do I, like, call this stuff? I cannot see you. Oh, oh, oh my god, I thought he was like half in the wall. I'm gonna scoot on by, turn on this, and then, oh, there's a hiding spot down here too. Uh, what about that bone? I don't think we're gonna see it. Let me take a quick peek in these rooms. Oh, there we go, see? Whoa, a little bit of lag. Alright, I think that's all the, oh, nope, there's another one. I think that's going to be all of them, though, because there's no other rooms I've checked. Let's check the EMF, or the temperature. Oh, I think I just heard something. Maybe I should switch to EMF. It's a little- it's weird how zoomed in this thing is. It's, okay, see, we're getting- I'm getting lag spikes and ghost events combined. Let's drop some stuff. I'm gonna drop everything. I don't trust sanity or getting hunted. So, if this ghost is going to be so active, let me get out of here. Now, the thing is, man, I like using this headlamp, but it doesn't work too well for the Blood Moon. So maybe I will just have it off. Yeah, look at that. I knew it was draining my sanity like crazy. That's a really powerful event. So what do I do? Just get the crucifixes and then smudge? Oh, whatever. Let's have some fun since the event's already done. Let's just see what happens. So, I'm going to get a smudge. Make sure to get, it, to get the lighter. Then I'm going in with two crucifixes. And I'm going to put them down. I think it's in that second room further back. But when it's in the basement, it pretty much feels like that whole basement is the ghost room. And I, we are in hunt range. But I don't want to run. I want to run down there. But I'm not going to. The light switch is right here. I can never remember where it's exactly at. I'm gonna cover that much. What? Every event has had a lag spike. I don't like that. But we have oh, a little bit of crucifixes down. I didn't grab a light. I guess we can just turn that one back on. 
All right, well, it is colder out here. And since you were over here, let's just bring this back with me. And the thing is, though, uh, I'm just now saying my breath. Well, this ghost just wants to attack me. Okay, well, there th there's the crucifix. I'm gonna smudge. And there's the objective, hopefully. Let's get this light back on. Now, I don't have much evidence, do I? I'm immediately just going for attacks here. So I'll tell you what, let's leave this. Now that we have one thing done, at the end here, I'll probably get attacked again with the mirror. But since we have some of the objectives, let's try and escape if it'll let me. But then I want to go back to focusing on just getting evidence here. Now, will it let me out the door? Yes. So let me look overview. Yeah, now I just need firelight. So there's a little bit of scary stuff done. I will get hunted at the end for fun. But let me take some sanity and try and take this like a serious game. Well, I'm going in with the UV this time, and I don't have salt, so I'm hoping it touches something like a door. <laughs> Glowing red plates. Now, what about these lights? Didn't I turn this on? I guess it was from the crucifix. I want to turn on some around here. I am probably just above hunt range. I don't know what this ghost is. It's something that's draining my sanity fast, though. Okay, you touch the door. I will appreciate that if you give me something. Okay. Well, what door did you even touch? I'm gonna plop this down. I'm touching this door. What about EMF? No EMF. And also no fingerprints. So that's two touches. I don't think it's gonna be Obake. I kinda wanna roll UV out. Oh my god. <laughs> These lag spikes. Uh, I'm trying not to complain. But it's just... It's happening right every time it happens I think something's about to kill me. There we go, down to freezing. So definitely not gonna be Obake. So we can go ahead and rule out the UV. I hate doing this. Oh, oh, okay, ghost orbs. Now the thing is, I don't wanna rule out Mimic because if Mimic does have freezing, that's the thing I'm trying to learn, but there's no UV. And we're unprofessional here. So I should try Spirit Box again, but I don't think this is going to be a Oh, see, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was affecting my sanity a lot. That seems to be what we're dealing with. I'm gonna set this up here. That seems to be an okay spot. I don't like that I'm in the dark. Well, we got freezing, so what's... Oh God, it's gonna be dots, which I of course don't have in here. It hasn't thrown the book. Well, who is this ghost? Russell, right. Russell, give us a sign. Oh, was that the... That was the ability. See, I, you never see a ghost slam a door like that. And then it didn't really give the exact door touch. Like, then sounds sometimes it sounds like it turns the doorknob. And that was the Uray ability, which, why are we getting back-to-back -back ghosts still? So, I guess I could get the dots in here. But I do need to get a firelight, so maybe we'll just get a firelight. And I don't really need anything else for photos, so I do want to get hunted just for fun. Alright. I'm gonna get a firelight and more smudges. I mean, it could have affected my sanity enough to be hunting here. I'm gonna turn this on just to have it on during a hunt. I'm gonna try and hide back there. And yeah, see, sanity's already going back down, like straight down. So, not gonna have much time. I guess I'm going in with one firelight and two smudges, because we definitely know what ghost this is. Uh, I mean, it's not a revenant, because it hasn't written an onrio. Oh, it would be spirit box, so. I mean, I don't want to, with how it was affecting my sanity, and with that slamming of the door, and then it, like, touching the door, that had to be the ability. So I'm just kind of banking on it being that. And we'll also find out if it's a revenant, so let's get back in here and see what happens. I feel like some kind of old prospector coming to <laughs> look for the ghost. That's why I love, like, the tier 3 stuff. It is fun having such high quality, you know, high tier items, and also just being able to prestige and stuff, which I do want to do, but... Man, I need to get used to using the tier 3 stuff, which I haven't even really begun to use. There's some EMF going on down here. Well. Russell, can you do something for us? I probably should have just put the night vision goggles back up. And I don't think I'm going to use them next time. Once I'm on bigger maps, they're just not even the Blood Moon maps. I think I'll have more use for them. Well, there's a event to lower my sanity. Hmm, there's so many things in here. I'm afraid he's gonna ignore the 
lantern or just use that. I kind of forgot the crucifixes were in here as well. Oh, there's goes that. I don't really need photos, but there's two. What about that other crucifix? Because I dumped that one pre- Oh god, I don't know if I want to do that. I dumped that one in here, didn't I? So I'm going to pull that back just for my own safety. I'm going to put that one here as well. Just cover that whole corner so it doesn't hunt from right there. Oh, it touched the breaker. That sounded like a locker. Well, do you want to blow out my candle? My lantern, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow, that was like a really long grace period for a hunt. Okay. How come all the lights are out? Oh, wait, uh, please don't go this way. No, oh, oh my God, I just stuck myself in the door. I don't think you saw me though. I'm gonna hide here. Well, I have another smudge if he comes this way. I didn't want to go into my other hiding spot because I was afraid he was gonna see me. He didn't see me jam myself in the doorway, by the way. I tried to slam it too fast and I got stuck in it. All right, there we go. We saw the ghost. Is he done? Yes, okay. Let's go ahead and do another game here. Because, I, like I said, I'm focusing more on just the Blood Moon stuff. And I found four totems this time. Well, actually, got a good ghost photo, so almost full photos, but I, I'm just gonna continue on, because I, I don't think I need the extra bit of money here. Let's see if I'm right about this Yure. Oh, it never blew out the firelight. Ah, uh, see, we need to get that. Oh, did, please go back down. Okay, it didn't blow out the firelight. Uh, and I brought it back with me. Okay, let's take the rest of this sanity. I, we're doing this right. I'm taking this sanity. What do I have on me? I'm going to leave the smudge. Can I bring uh, three of these? I am. I'm taking all three of these down here and we're getting this last objective. I said I was doing this for the Blood Moon stuff. And since we took the sanity, I can just book it in here. But I forgot about the lantern. Okay, I. this is why I'm just bringing all of them in here. I saw the writing on the ground and thought it was something else okay put one here dang it oh, light the thing first put it down light the thing put it down there we got three lanterns i want to start like throwing stuff away just in hopes that it doesn't interact with anything over there okay three lanterns down look at this beautiful shot now i really do want to get this so blow out a firelight. I could get two more photos. That counted, right? Yes. All right. I kind of want one more. There we go. One more photo. So no bone photo. If I find the bone, is it a perfect game? Should I go looking for the bone? Look, I'm going to. I don't have a light. All right. I want to actually test this. So I'm gonna go, gonna go get my main flashlight and a smudge. I'm gonna go looking for this bone. So I might just cut to me finding it. This is just something I want to test out to see if you need a photo of the bone, because I don't exactly know. And it's Willow, so please. I'm sure I can walk through here and find this. I don't know what my sanity is. I'm gonna try and stay in the light. I kind of thought the bone would be in the living room, but it doesn't seem to be. I didn't really look too good in the basement, but I don't think it's down there. Okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna try and find this. Well, at least I'm doing something to try and stay here a little bit longer. But I, God, no sign of it. Sometimes it can be on the bed. I bet it's down in the basement, isn't it? And I just didn't have my main light. I've ran through all these rooms. And I don't see it out here. Okay. I do have smudges. And that grace period was pretty good there. I guess I'm just getting used to Nightmare. But even though he hunted kind of like right on top of me... I had a lot of time to run away. Oh, is this going to be one of the times where... Forgot the ghost is down here. One of the times the bone is like in a hiding spot. Oh well. At least I'm, you know... Challenging the ghost at least here. There's no bone or anything. Maybe it's behind that hiding spot. Wow, I think that's probably the actual room of the ghost. Is it back here? No. Damn it. Alright. Well, so much for that. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it, but at least I tried to find them. I'm going to see if I can leave now, because the URA is probably draining my sanity, and there's no crucifix over there. Oh well. 
I really wanted to see if just picking up the bone. Because from my understanding, you need a photo of the bone. I don't really know where else to look. I guess I didn't look on this bed too well. Maybe it's on a couch in there. I know what really, the only furniture it can really be on is the bed. Oh, I'm going to do a little bit more looking around and maybe the ghost will hunt me. Okay, I guess this is just going to be one of those times where you cannot find the bone. It's not back here. Ah, oh, see? Ah, what a weird spot. All right, so I don't have a photo of the bone, but I did pick it up. Let's see if I get a perfect investigation. And also, let me just make sure. All objectives. Three star ghost photo, which you don't even need the ghost photo. From my understanding, you just need a photo of the bone, or maybe you just need to pick up the bone and then get all three star photos. That's why I'm trying to figure this out. So let's see if we get a perfect game. I think I'm right here with it being a Yure. It's not a Revenant, and I do not think it's an Onryo. And well, it was, ooh, it was blowing out candles a lot. Should we, oh my god, should we really go down there and see? You know what? Why not? Let's go down there and make sure. I don't have, well, let's see what, Sanity. I mean, with the way it was affecting sanity, it has to be a Yure. The only thing I could do is try and get the dots. This is going to put me down to real low sanity. I just brought in on both my smudges, too. Look, I'm going to guess, because, uh, I don't know, I want to go back in there, but I don't have sanity. Alright, I'm going back in there with one dots projector to see, and if I don't get dots, like before a hunt, then I'm going to guess that it is one. I'm, it could have been spirit box and I could bring spirit box down here just to see but I think I trust getting the dots more for some reason But I really feel like this is a yure with how it was affecting my sanity. I'm gonna get these one other crucifix in here though I should probably do that sooner rather than later. Oh wow. This is definitely your room Okay, there's the entire room covered. I'm gonna run grab this completely full crucifix and plant it right in the middle there. Okay. Give us a sign, Russell. I know you want to show up in the dots. So what I should do is stand in the dots so eventually you will show them to me. Now this is why I didn't want this to somehow be an Onryo because it was blowing out the candles a lot. Oh, here we go. Onryo test. So if it uses the crucifix and the candle is not blown out, it's not an Onryo. So one way or another here, we're going to figure out what this ghost is. I better have my smudge at the ready. I'm gonna turn on the light too, just so it's not draining my sanity as fast. Russell, give us a sign. Okay, that's kind of not where I need you. I need you to come through that doorway so I can see you in the dots. Well, at least I'm getting I'm getting a lot of chances to test the Onryo here, so we know it's not a revenant with how it was roaming around. Russell, give us a sign. Okay, blew it out. I need to relight that quickly. And apparently my actual lighter in my hand can do that. So this makes it seem like an Onryo. Remember how I planted three uh, lights down and then it started blowing them out pretty fast? That would That's what made me think this could be an Onryo. So instead of just leaving, let's actually play the game. Okay, you're putting me in hunt range pretty quickly. I should definitely be in hunt range now. That was the thing. I guess I wasn't super low. All right, now we definitely are in hunt range. Which way does this door go? Okay, see, not an Onryo. Not an Onryo, not a Yure. I'm gonna smudge just so you're in here and we're gonna leave there. See, I redeemed myself from the last Onryo test and now I understand it. It just, funny, that's what made me think about it. I put down those lanterns, there's another one, and it just started blowing them out and that made me think it could be an Onryo, so I'm glad I tested. Now we know what this is. Let's actually see if this is going to be a perfect game. Alright, you're right. Even though it didn't give me the dots, which I kind of stood in there for a while. Very good amount of money. See, I knew I forgot something. As soon as I loaded in, man, I will go back on the footage. I knew I was going to forget something. It's like as soon as I load in, I just my mind goes blank. I wanted to see if that was a perfect game. I need to go back. It's like I knew I was going to look for something and forgot it immediately. Okay, I needed to see if that was a perfect game, so I'm going to have to go back on my own and see. But it doesn't even really matter. We got a lot of money, so it feels like it was a perfect game. Uh, I knew there was something I was missing, but alright, we're going back in for round two. Alright, I'm going back to my normal loadout. Susan Petit, uh, breakers in the garage, motion sensor photo, and then escape. Uh, photo. Well, let's see what cursed item we get. 
I'd like to kind of get the lights on, so maybe I'll play this like a normal professional game. Turn on these lights, also hit the breaker, and also find all these as I go through. And it's the mirror again. Alright, well, let's just immediately find out where the ghost is. And it's in the basement again. Big surprise. Alright, I'm dropping this. What is it with this game and getting ghosts in the same room over and over again? Well, I'm going to continue to turn these on. We have the same hiding spot, so maybe this will be kind of a repeat of last game. Now, the ghost could have roamed to the basement, and maybe it's actually just up here. But I doubt it. I'm going to do my scan through here, look for the bone, look for any other of these. I'm starting to learn the locations to look for them. What do we have in here? Nothing other than you. Wait. Oh, I thought I saw a bone in there. I really want to make sure we see the bone. I think I did get a perfect game with the 16. I know I got a lot of, like, dailies, and maybe even weeklies with the three-star photos or whatever I'd gotten. It's so dumb. I, knew, I started loading back, and it's like, I knew there was something I needed to look for, and it just completely lost my mind. Well, I'll have to go back and see, but it's not a big detail. Well, into the basement we go again. Are we going to get ghost offended as soon as we go down here? I mean, I'd kind of like that. Give us a sign, Susan. I know you're down here. Well, there's a altar over there. Where are you? Oh my god, why did it have to be that one? Well, you're not Noni. Oh my god, but you are insta-hunting me? Is it they? Or demon? I think that's demon. That's like normal speed. I think that was a demon, like, insta-hunt. Let me listen. Yeah, that's not a thing. That's like an insta-hunting demon. Oh my god. There's no other ghost that could hunt like that. And then just be normal speed. Unless it drained my sanity. Let's survive. And then I gotta go see what my sanity is. Of that red light. Should, should I not be holding that out? Probably not. Okay, lights out. Let's run. I'm actually going to drop my stuff. Though, at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna have enough time, hopefully, to do this. Go ahead and drop that. Now run! Alright, well, unless we have, like, somehow less than 50 sanity, this has to be a demon. I did not spend a lot of time in the dark. Oh my god! Is it another Yure? What drained my sanity so fast? Does, like, taking photos of these drain your sanity? Maybe. I don't know. But it was normal speed, and yes, we... Wow. Okay, that was not an early hunt. Well, what do we do? We need to escape. Motion sensor photo. Should we just do all the hard stuff first? The only thing I need to do is escape. Now, I can't get a photo. Uh, let's just, you know what, drain my sanity. Let's go escape the ghost hunt, and then we'll worry about doing the actual investigation. I'm going to take all these in here. Well, what I'm hoping for here is to just get this challenge or this objective out of the way, and then I'll focus on... Oh, getting... Let me maybe grab that. Then I'll... Wow. Focus on doing a just normal investigation. It's been throwing all kinds of stuff, but it hunted. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to face it on the stairs. I'm going to try and face it right here, maybe. Oh. Let me listen. I shouldn't... Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> you saw that! Obake shapeshift right in front of me! You saw that! It went from the dress lady to the... Oh, grandma, no! Please, no! You're... What? Oh, okay. Oh, I have to go here. I thought that was the ghost, but it wasn't. I thought the ghost was right at the doorway, but it wasn't. Oh my god, my heart. This is not a hiding spot, by the way. We already know what ghost this is, though. <laughs> what is it with me getting those lucky shapeshifts? I just had a shapeshift like that on Woodwind. Okay, well, we know what the ghost is just from doing that. Please, let me step outside. Sometimes it's amazing what can happen in this game. I don't even need anything to know that was an Obake. I, the first thing I saw was the dress lady, and then it turned into grandma, so I think it's the grandma. Ooh, okay. There might be a couple more photos I need to take. I need to ghost photo, so I'm going to go back to full sanity and just... I don't even know if I want full sanity, at least above hunt range. I want to try and get a photo, so... Uh, I don't know. Motion sensor will be easy. And then, as for the rest of the photos, I don't think I'm going to worry. We made enough money last game, and I'm going to be playing this game so much that I'm not going to try and farm money specifically. I'm just trying to get the Blood Moon stuff done. I'm going to take... 
Should I take one or two of these? I'm gonna take two. Now, I know I still have garbage in my inventory because I didn't drop it. But what do I want to bring back in there? We have the photo cam in there. Maybe just another smudge because we're gonna need it to do activity. I need the motion sensor though. Uh, okay, well I already have one smudge, so then let's just go back with the motion sensor. I didn't expect that last hunt to be so crazy, but of course it is. I should have expected that actually from sitting at the doorway. We have another smudge as well. Uh, why do we have to have another basement ghost? I guess this will just cover the corner. I don't really know if this is your room. What room did we see? I don't think it was this one. Oh, maybe it was this one because we saw something like this. I couldn't exactly tell what room we saw. I thought we were looking at this back corner, but no, that's not the back corner. So it must have been that other room then. Actually, with this, I should be able to find the ghost. If I place this down on top of the ghost, it should find it. Okay. Where are you then, ghost? Please. I should have the light on, damn it. I'm too worried about finding this stupid thing. All oh, this is not working. I wonder if they patched this. They probably did. I actually have no idea. They probably did. Alright. Oh! Never mind, found you. Get that light back on though. I should, really should get my camera, shouldn't I? I guess I didn't really have the inventory without dropping a smudge. Gonna open that. Grab my camera. So that should be the motion sensor objective. I'm gonna sit here. Oh god, you're right in front of me. Give us a sign, Susan. I need you to show yourself. I don't know if you're gonna do that at such high sanity. I do not want to try to do this during a hunt. Oh, no, I can't take a photo of that. That's not the event I wanted. And also now you're draining my sanity. I'm going to smudge just under the assumption that you are in hunt range or I am in hunt range. So let me go grab my other smudge. And then I'm going to hope you give me this ghost photo. So yeah, I'm not worried about any other photos unless I just get something here, which I don't know what I'm going to get. Maybe a door touch, or if it throws something. Susan, give us a sign. Sometimes it is really effective to just ask the ghost for something. There have been many times where you ask the ghost and it will respond. I mean, that's a pretty big game mechanic. I assume it touched this door. It did. Now you're motioning back here. Okay, uh, I assume it touched this door and it did. Well, I'm getting some photos. At least I'm trying. Susan, show yourself. No? Nothing, huh? It's like I took sanity and you just got really boring. Although you are right here. If you wanted to show yourself, that'd be great. Cannot use that mirror for anything other than just getting a hunt. Which I really don't need to survive. It's funny how, like, this is a professional game, but we do not need to get evidence. I just want to get this photo, so... Really, this is just, like, real-life ghost investigating, just sitting here hoping for something to happen. I want an event that I can take a photo of. The ghost is right here. Susan, do something. Oh. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna open my book and make myself vulnerable. Just a photo, and we know. What another crazy Obake shapeshift. Mm, what's that light flashing for? I'm pretty sure there's not any other totems around. There's a photo. Oh, see? Okay, I didn't check back here. There, that one should be the last one. I think I've checked every location. I've also walked around the house enough. I didn't find the bone again, though, this time. I guess I would have played a bigger part in if I wanted a perfect game here. It's weird how it is kind of easier to get a perfect game with all the blood moon totems, but of course it's much harder. Yes! Thank you! Okay, I want to... I want to leave this basement. So, I mean, that's it, right? Let's take a step further back. Oh, I kind of want to drop this stuff too. I'm not going to drop my smudge though. Okay. So I, oh, I only need one more photo. I mean, and if I look for the bone, I guess I could get a perfect game here. God, might as well try. Let's go 
Maybe I can just redeem myself and do the same thing I did last time. But I want to, if I find the bone, I'm going to take a photo of it. Okay, I have a smudge. So if we get hunted, I think I'll survive. But I'm going to go look for the bone one more time. My god, you were in here because you were throwing stuff. Okay, it's definitely going to help if I turn on the light. But so far, nothing. I, I keep... I must be hearing noises from the basement. God, it's so creepy to be walking around in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that door. I don't like the feeling I'm getting from that basement. I didn't really look in here, though. Can it, like, be in the bathtub sometimes? I feel like it can. Or, like, in here. God, that would suck. I don't know if they ever fixed that whole spawning under things, like rugs and stuff. Sometimes you can just lose it on a rug. Alright, I haven't really looked too good. Okay, found it. So, last photo. Bone photo this time. We know it's an obake. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I think we had fun on Willow. But, I do have a smudge. So, <laughs> let's have fun and use it. I'm gonna go see. Let's just hit the mirror. Okay, so that is that other little room. I guess the basement does have a specific room it can be in. Alright, maybe... the same speed. I don't... I mean, it could be a mimic. What if that was a mimic shapeshift? By the way, that door is closed. Something's about to come through that door! Oh no, I... I did it again! Please don't see me through that crack. Somehow I got through here. I'm, I keep trying to slam that door behind me. Please no. All I can do is stare at that light. Well, unless it was a mimic, I should have looked for ghost orbs. Can an Obake even have ghost orbs? Yes, so I guess there would be ghost orbs anyway. I'm gonna assume it's not a mimic and it's just a, an Obake. I mean, the odds of it being a mimic, ooh, that would have been crazy. I guess we're, we're gonna find out though. I gotta remember, the hunt's gonna be over when the lights are gone. But all right, I think this is gonna be the last time we vi visit Willow during the Blood Moon. So I think we had a very good time there, almost getting killed at the bottom of the stairs there by Nobake, so... I will figure out if that other game was a perfect game. I don't think there's anything else I'm, I gotta remember to look for here, though. Well, even though we were unprofessional, we had two ghosts that were pretty determinable without even getting evidence. We knew it was a Yure pretty early on, and that Obake. Now, was it a Mimic? No, it was an Obake. I mean, the odds of that being a Mimic Obake would have been insane. Alright. I will go back and look on the other one if I had a perfect game. I can't believe I didn't think about it. I'm sure when I'm editing, I'll look. But we'll see if you have to get a bone photo or not. But otherwise, two really good games. Let me look. I don't really know what the Obake's ability is. 13. Well, hmm. What would the Obake's ability be? And it did change its favorite room one, so I guess it did change maybe one room down in the basement. Now I gotta see, what is the Obake's ability, though? Oh, maybe leaving the unique fingerprints. I guess that would make sense. Okay, so next time we are going to be trying the weekly challenge, which, where is it? Slow and steady. The ghost may be slow, but it's angry. So this is a slow ghost on Camp Woodwind. So kind of similar to a Blood Moon with it being angry. I think I can get this one done, and it should be kind of fun to go back to Woodwind with a slow ghost. And that's something I kind of wanted to do with my last visit, was just have fun with Woodwind, so hopefully we'll be having fun on that. So we'll be doing the challenge mode, and then we'll be doing one last visit on... Grafton, and then we're gonna be doing the finale on Point Hope and ending the Blood Moon event at least with Point Hope. But we'll still be getting the Blood Moon uh, as a random event. Let me go over here now because that was a. <laughs> Dude, I hate that. I don't know why I keep pressing spacebar. I know that's horrible to watch. But there you go, 100%. Blood Moon Trophy and Blood Moon Weather post event. So after the event, I guess it'll now be randomly applied. But we do have that trophy in there, which is super sweet. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.